Howdy YouTube. So I got two subscribers today that were people that I didn't know in person, which is honestly pretty great. I really like that. But um, today we're going to be talking about Tiny Core Linux. So Tiny Core Linux is a small Linux distribution. It's an exercise in minimalization. Um, I guess uh, comparable products would be like Damn Small Linux or Puppy Linux, but Puppy Linux I believe requires a Pentium 2 and Damn Small Linux isn't really being developed. I, I've tried it before and it had issues with uh, Ethernet, so it's kind of a pain, but pretty much um, Tiny Core Linux will like just run out of the box. It's great actually. So it ran out of the box. I uh, just put in the plus um, CD and seemed to load up right on a uh, Pentium 1 Gateway E2000 that I uh, fixed up last summer. And pretty much the gist of that is um, when I first started up, so you can imagine a distribution that really only functions on a RAM drive, like all the applications are loaded in the RAM and stuff, is going to be kind of slow. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just, uh, I don't think it's a Linux thing necessarily, but 98 actually ran faster than uh, Tiny Core Linux with default settings. But you optimize it a little bit, uh, you can get the OS and the graphics user interface running something around like 60 to 70 megabytes of RAM to about 40 to 50. I only have a 128 megabytes, which is kind of um, a little bit uh, too little for at least uh, modern applications. I, I, I tried to run a QT web on it first, which actually ran, but and loaded websites mostly correctly too. The problem with that was um, required too much of the RAM and be using the uh, hard drive like swap file and stuff and would end up getting super slow. So yeah, that was about my experience with that. Um, and after that, I just installed a web browser named Dillo. And Dillo um, was able to run off like pretty much Dillo wouldn't load all web pages correctly, but it can go to the major ones I browse. And the problem with it, um, my main issue with it, it is great, it only used like 10 megabytes of RAM. But the main issue was that once, I, I, I tried to post on G, but what ended up happening is when I tried to make my 4chan post, is the CAPTCHA wouldn't work. And I mean, Everything else loaded correctly. It did the reply thing. I've heard a uh, 4chan gold users uh, don't have to do the captcha, but there's um, no way I'm gonna end up giving any of my money to Hirohito. So yeah, I guess that's about it. Peace and God damn it. I mean, 4chan gold passes are five bucks, but. Am I really going to pay that for a one-time experiment to post on 4chan on a Pentium 1? I mean, seriously.